Let's talk lavenders and the Dreamsicle Project. What's going on everybody? It is your good buddy Adam at Proper Royals. Thank you for joining us today. If we've never met before, this whole channel is about my family's ball python hobby and our journey from hobby to business. Check out all the socials down below. There's links for you as well as links to our collection of Proper Royals NFTs if crypto is your game. One of the hottest trends in the industry over the past couple of years has been lavender albino ball pythons and what's become known as the dreamsicle project which is the double recessive project of a lavender albino with piebald ball pythons so i have in my hand here a female lavender and she is right at a thousand grams so she's still uh, one season out um, but she's doing really great and i wanted to show you a couple things first you know here's what a nearly mature uh, lavender will look like. The lighting in here is a little bit washed out. I had to brighten it up. So her, you know, the lighter areas are really kind of a nice soft lavender. And then there's those vivid yellows on the side. And then the nice dark, dark red eyes. What happens though is they start as a very, very vivid, vivid orange and they go to this color. So check out this hatchling who is eh, he's maybe six weeks old or so so look at those colors and then kind of how they mature and fade just a little bit and soften up this guy is a visual lavender and he is 100 percent het pied so we're gonna breed him in another year when she is ready this girl is visual lavender and also het pied. So we've still got some long odds to hit dreamsicles, but all of their babies will be lavenders and 100% het pied. So we'll be on our way. Um, hopefully, I, I think I gotta look. I think it's one in eight odds with that pairing that I'll get a dreamsicle this year. So it, you know, it's slim odds. That's why they're so expensive, and it's a long journey. So, so I'm really enjoying pursuing double recessive projects. They give me a long-term goal to chase after, and there's a really neat journey along the way. So I'll tell you, my long, long-term goal on the dreamsicle project is to figure out how to get those lavenders more vibrant and maintain some of those oranges or brighter colors. And what's exciting to me are the uh, codoms and dominants that I have in my collection. So I have Leopard going in my Pied project already. So Leopard will darken those lavenders and should preserve those colors. I also have Yellow Belly that I'm working in as well as Orange Dream. And those will really bring out the oranges and yellows. And then what's exciting to me is Enchi. So I like a really low white pied. I like that jumbled, scrambled kind of mural of a pattern on the side of a piebald by Paul, uh, on the side of a piebald ball python. And leopard sometimes causes really high white pieds, but I think the Enchi will outweigh it. And if we could get those in the mix, these are long, long-term goals, years out that I would be able to do it. But if I could bring in Enchi and leopard and then have either yellow belly or orange dream or both in the mix of a dreamsicle i think it would just be an incredible animal i think it'd be an incredible culmination of a long-term project and pretty exciting now one thing to consider on these big long-term recessive projects is you got to be passionate about what you're doing because first it's going to take forever second the market could change in that time right now you can get uh dreamsicles for about two thousand dollars a piece and that's a lot of money but it takes a lot of effort to make that two thousand dollars so if you're only doing it for financial reasons you got to watch it you got to be careful so you got to hedge your bets along the way consider what clutch mates that you're going to hold back and consider what clutch mates you're going to sell some of the other cool things that i think are out there to do with lavenders that we haven't seen yet are things like or that i haven't even started working on yet are things like a lavender clown project i've got a male 
uh, stud clown that he will be producing eggs or he'll be uh, siring clutches this year as well so we'll have a hundred percent heck clowns that I could be working with a visual clown we've also got a xanthic so we could do a true ghost snow with lavender and the Azanthic project that would be incredible and then you know you just got to see what the future brings is there a triple recessive in the mix is there a clown dreamsicle down the road that's all neat stuff that i could pursue as well so that's my lavender project that i have going right now you know this time next year when these two start breeding together i'm actually going to have this year's holdbacks of visual pie balds. I've got some orange dream pies coming up here any day now. So all of those things are gonna influence my projects and my breeding plans and what holdbacks and this little guy will be ready to meet with uh, females um, for next breeding season. And obviously he can go to quite a few females or several females anyhow. So we could see where we could start working the 100% het lavenders into the collection as well. So keep it right here to follow everything that we do with the lavender projects. And when the new things come, I'll be sure to tell you about it first off right here on the Proper Royals channel. Until next time, see ya.